Let's say you want to multiply 12 by 13. For this 1, we'll draw one line. And for the 2, we'll leave a little bit of space and we'll draw two lines. For the other number, we'll draw lines in the other direction. Now we'll group together different lines and we'll count the dots. Here we have six different dots. In the middle we have five different dots. And on the other side we have one dot. And that's the answer, 156. We'll do another example. For 15 by 21, we start out by drawing one line, then we'll leave a little bit of space and draw five lines. And the other number, we draw lines in the other direction. So we draw two lines here and one line here. We will again group the different lines. Here we have five dots. In the middle, we have 11 dots, and the other end we have 2 dots. Uh, we'll need to make one adjustment. Because we have 11, we'll need to carry this 1 over, which will make 3. And our answer is 315. We can even do this for bigger numbers. 123, we start out with one line, then with some space, two lines. Uh, with some more space, three lines. And we draw the other lines for the other number in the other direction. We again group the lines. We have three dots here, eight dots here, 14, eight, and three. Once again, we're going to have to carry this one over So that's our answer. It'll be 39,483. You can even use this trick when a number includes zero. Uh, but one thing, when you draw this line, you should still keep draw the line, but put it in a different color or a different marking. And the trick will be that we don't count any of the dots for that line. So when we make the grouping, we have three dots here. For the second arrangement, we're only going to count the dots for the non-zero lines. So we have six dots here. We don't count the, any of the intersections for the zero line. In the middle, we again ignore the zero line, which makes seven. Here we have two dots and two dots here. So you can even use this method when you have a number that includes zero. You can even use it for algebraic equations. We'll draw one line for the x, and we'll draw two lines for the 2y, and we'll keep it in blue. We'll put all the x's in black, and the y's in blue. The other number, we draw the lines in the other direction. And again, we make groupings. So here we have six dots, and because both of the lines are blue, that means it's y squared. In the middle, we have five dots, and these are the intersections of a black and blue line, which means it will be an x and a y. On the end, we just have one dot, and that's for two black lines, so it's x squared. So that's the answer.